everybody, it's Veronica from Two Easels and today I've got a super fast tutorial to show you how I did this messy, splashy watercolor effect for the background of my letters. So grab some pencil, paper, eraser, watercolors, and a sharpie or any other marker that's not gonna bleed when wet. Alright, so the first thing I did was sketch out my word because once I put that sharpie down, I can't erase it and I really didn't feel like wasting any sheets of paper because I was just trying to do this super quickly. So I sketched it out very roughly, just kind of what I wanted to do. Um, I've made some little corrections and then I just took the sharpie and started tracing my outlines. And the reason I use a sharpie is because I know it is super permanent and it will not bleed once I apply watercolor on top of it or any kind of wet media. If you have any other permanent markers that you like or any colorful permanent markers that don't bleed, you can definitely use them. Uh, but I really wouldn't use something like a Tumbow marker or a Crayola marker because it will start bleeding into your watercolors. So once this is done, I just grab my water, my watercolors, I prep all my colors first, and then I start applying water to the letters first. And I just do this super roughly. You can see it's not really sticking to um, in between the lines inside my letters. I'm trying to just be very kind of all over the place and kind of messy. Once I apply the water to all of the letters, then I start just dropping in some color. And again, I am not being very careful. I'm just being very playful. And again, I'm using um, colors that kind of go together. So I'm using blue, teal, and green um, because they mix nicely together. So I just drop them in and just spread them around and mix them in a little bit. And then I splash even more on top. And then once I'm done with the splashing, I actually take a little bottle of water, a little spray bottle, and I spray it on top. So those little splashes that I did spread out even more and look more and add to it. So it adds a little bit more texture. Then once it's dry, and it took quite a while because it was super wet, um, I go back with the Sharpie and just create a little drop shadow because there's some areas of some of those letters that I didn't really like. And I was hoping that the drop shadow will kind of hide those mistakes. So that's pretty much it, guys. It literally took like five minutes except for the drying time. But other than that, it took like five minutes. It's a super easy and fun way to do lettering. And it's a very fun, easy way to do a background for your lettering or for any art pieces because it's fun, quick, and splashy and colorful. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's super quick tutorial. And if you'd like to see more tutorials and some free worksheets on lettering, visit my website. It's linked in the video description below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Alright guys, bye bye!